Yo, what's up everyone? Man, I'm happy to be here this Sunday. Feels like we're gonna have a crazy show. I'm, I'm pumped. Um, yeah, what's up everyone? Yeah, what's up, what's up? We got Calgary. How's it going, everyone? Um, man, I've been looking forward to this stream all week. And um, I'm just going to be trying out more and more things and just seeing, you know, what's working and just keep building off of that. So really wanted to start it this week off with a, with a little ambient set and just kind of jam out. Um, there's a lot of different layers to music and... Um, you know, uh, I just want to be able to show you guys a few few different things. Um, but today, today, um, what I did earlier, which really helped me out, uh, I went through all these songs that I've been making the last few months. And uh, what I want to do is I want to start going through some of these and finishing them out. And... Um, so what I want to be able to show y'all for this stream is um, let's open up one of these half-started ideas and let's just start working on it. And the idea is, you know, to wrap it up and to release it. So like y'all know from a few streams back, we got, we got a little EP on its way. Uh, it's going to be out very soon. And... Um, it's a beautiful EP. I can't wait for you guys to be able to, to stream it and to play it. Um, and then what I also want to do is I just want to be just releasing so much heat. If you guys only knew how much music I have on my computer from over the years, it's just crazy. So, um, yeah, it's just I'm excited to get all this out. Um, just want to make sure is... Uh, Everything okay with the quality? Is like the sound quality cool? Everything sound good? The video quality cool? Okay, awesome. That's great to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up this record. I started it a couple weeks ago and um, Let's pull it up. It's labeled uh, 777, and uh, I'm excited to hear how it sounds right now.
Yo, I'm so sorry, everyone. That was terrible. That was some crazy feedback. Hope you guys' ears are okay. Ha ha ha. Sorry, yo. That hurt me too. So I, you know, apologize. Shit. All right, let's let's make sure this isn't gonna do that. Okay, check this out. Check this out. Let me make sure nothing's on the master bus. Let's clear this out. Well, let's let's leave it on just to hear it back. <laughs> guys already hear what it is like it's crazy we got the one section we got this hard you know drum section and and on the stream tonight we're, we're gonna make this we're gonna try to blend this all together That's amazing. I love that. Um, <sighs> let's hear it from the top one more time. And also, I gotta get myself a drink. So I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna play the beat on loop right, real quick, and I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> crazy so what we'll do first here is um let's play the drums for a second and all we're gonna do is we're gonna just play the drums and um let's just let's just see what's up Yo, 
is better now okay so check this out this is awesome uh let's just hear now the drums soloed so this is just obviously a sketch and um so you know there's a lot of work to do so i might just get to work really um Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Get this mic set up right. Okay, I think the first step I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to put a I'm going to put Volcano Three on the master bus, and we're just going to filter out as um, as the progression leads up to the drums. We're just going to filter out the low end off that. there we're going to automate the plugin off and we don't need to hear that back just yet let's go ahead and um, automate the top um, filter and we'll start let's see filtered out how it sounds start and then opening up Okay, we got a comment. Why Volcano and not Pro EQ? Because you're, you're going to see Volcano here. It's just way more fun. Q, Q3 is phenomenal. I use it all the time, of course. But when you're talking about filtering, um, or even if you're talking about doing shelf stuff, Volcano 3, I feel like Volcano 3 is basically Q3 on steroids. So uh, I just love it. Uh, nonetheless, let's, let's hear this filtered out initially. Okay, that's cool. Let's let's uh I'm going to invert the order of the filter so that we start full quality and as it builds up to the drums it just starts to get thinner and smaller. Let's see how that sounds. Also, for both of these peaks, let's raise the resonance a little bit. Get a little bit more drive out of it, I guess. And actually, we have a drive knob here. Let's turn this up. Well, hold on a second. What we'll do is this. We're, we're going to turn up the drive on filter two, um, not filter one. And let's hear the sounds.
Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to turn down the drive. Maybe we'll do 6 dB, whatever, just a touch. Maybe more. Um, but the idea is we are just trying to create the transition to go from the beginning beautiful section to the like super hard drums. So what we'll also do is let's fade out the volume and let's just have it go down 3 dB and let's also do this. Check this out. I'm going to put these effects we just made, I'm going to put it into a group and this is all on the master bus right now. And I'm going to open up um, a, a, an audio effect rack and I'm going to do, I'm going to separate the channel uh, dry and, you know, FX1 here. Um, and then what we're going to do is on the dry rack, we're going to throw utility on. And what we're going to do is we're going to mute out the beginning parts and we're going to have it come in obviously for the rest of the song. And then on FX1, what we're gonna do is we have all the automation we just programmed. So this FX1 is going to be what the listener hears for the intro with all of the automation of the filter and the uh, fading out. And, but then we're also gonna hit them with, um, we're gonna hit them with a delay. So that delay can go on that FX1 channel. And what we wanna do is just kind of you know, delay and kind of fade it out as, um, as it fades into the drum section. So you guys are going to hear that in a moment. Uh, and the way to do that to get the most control is to just group everything. So I'm throwing that now delay in, in another audio effect rack. And, um, you know, sometimes I don't label anything and sometimes I just, it's good to have a, it's good habit to label things and have a clean working session. Okay. So we got this delay, we got the dry and wet signal, and on the master bus, we have the intro playing as a, you know, through its own channel. Okay, we're gonna switch this to ping pong. I think that would sound great. Let's see what 1.4 sounds like. Let's also increase the feedback to like 80%, cool. Let's lower this. Let's lower these to 20 percent i'm just i'm just kind of guessing these numbers i have a, i have like a, an idea of where it kind of probably needs to sit okay so we got that now what we also need to program in is is like the we don't want that delay to play the entire intro to be honest we really just want it to play more or less the last four or three bars i like doing things in threes for some reason, I just think it sounds better than doing things in fours. Um, so we have delay panning. We have the uh, we have um, automation feeding a delay on the last three bars leading up into the switchover of the beat. Let's see how this sounds, and let's also let's lower the delay a little bit, just a little bit. I brought it down three dB, and let's also. Hmm. Let's just hear this how, how this sounds real quick. Phenomenal. That's that's pretty good. We're getting closer there. I'm gonna bring up the delay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up the delay so it's a little bit louder. I'm gonna switch the feedback. We're gonna go crazy. We'll just go 95. And also, let's bring down the volume more. Let's bring down the whole. Well, let's go down by 6 dB towards the end of the intro. And let's hear this one more time. Also, let's throw a reverb so that when this delay hits at the end, um, that it has some verb helping it out. 
And we can throw that verb right on the delay track. And we can, and for this one, let's group it too, why not? Super long, let's max it out. Leave it, we can leave the distance, we can leave everything default. That's what's up. Let's throw a side chain on. So we're getting there. So the intro is now building out. Sounds great. We got it somewhat transitioning into the drums. Um, let's quickly just throw kickstart two, and we're gonna have that trigger against the kick. And that way, let's hear it just before it jumps in. Almost there, we're almost there. Okay, what we gotta do now on all this automation is we have to make sure that when the beat drops that we have the volume muting. So I just threw a utility plugin on there and just as the intro ends, I have it cutting out. Um, let's hear that one more time. Yo, thank y'all for the nice comments, man. One last time, one last time. Okay, I, I'm tweaking out some things. I'm, I'm opening up the verb, I'm adding a pre-delay. I'm um, increasing the distance to far, which creates a, uh, an effect that is farther away, removing some of the, um, like whatever, switching the algorithm so that it's like basically further rather than closer. And then, and so I'm doing all that. I, I increase the feedback to 97%. So I'm just trying to carve out a little bit more between that transition. now. For the record, when the drums come in, it's we, we there's a lot of work to do. That stuff is sounding very demo-y. So 
I'm just trying to focus on the transition between the first section to the next. Let's let's hit play and see how this how this goes. Man, I hear such a beautiful vocal just at the end of this section here. A vocal that won't be like within all of the effects we just added. And just something that carries through over this drum section. But rather than focus on that right now, let's just continue focusing on the music. We'll, we'll, we'll get to a vocal and doing that in a moment. Um, let's play the intro piece one more time and let's switch gears from... Instead of working on uh, that transition, let's switch gears to working on some of these instruments within this intro piece. So, I mean, that sounds really good. I'm gonna put an EQ. I'm not gonna pay attention to what plugins I have already loaded on here. And instead, I'm just going to focus on what I feel could be done moving forward. Um, so I'm going to just kind of clean out some of the low end on this sound. Let's bring up the top end. Let's let's get it to move around a little bit. Let's throw auto panner on it. I'm increasing the pan here. I don't want to go too wide, but I don't want to be too small either. You want to you want to get it just right. I think 60% feels about right. I'm going to also uh, lower some of the reverb and delay on this sound. Beautiful. Let's pan some of these sounds. I'm going to throw pan hertz. P pan pot from good hertz. Sorry, y'all. And we're listening to it. This sound soloed out right now.
Sometimes it's nice to hear things solo just to get an idea. Because this is the intro, we need to keep, we don't want it to be mono and I don't want it to be ultra wide. We want to save ultra wide for very important moments. We don't want to, we want to save center for very important sounds. So I'm looking, I'm feeling out this middle area right here. 50 is probably perfect, honestly. I'm just moving these knobs. Looks like this will kind of sharp, sharpen it on that 50%. can't tell what this phase is doing but this is in terms of panning this is oh, that's perfect let's now include the secondary sound here let's mute the other one cool let's throw pan pot on this as well and and pan this on the other side I hope you guys are getting all the stereo information from these streams. Um, I hope you all are getting stereo. Okay, so... This small little sound here that was quite low in the mix... I'm loving it panned hard, man. The middle, it's pulsing, it's, it's almost... Does, it's too obvious. Hundreds too far. Let's go 80. And let's move some of these other knobs in a moment. I don't know what Spectral does exactly. I've read the, I read the manual a few times, but sometimes you just need to hear what it does. And I, and I like it. Something like that is probably perfect. Okay, let's add the next sound. I have no idea. Let's, let's solo the sound, see what it's doing. Okay, that's awesome. Let's, let's add the sound with the other two sounds we were just working on. Generally speaking, the sound is fitting really well, but let's roll off that low end. Let's switch it to 96 on the filter. Making sure I filter just below that last note, which is about here, it sounds like. That's that's all that's all I wanted to do was just clean up just that low end now. Let's throw shaper box on this. And we're going to throw just a sign like we're going to increase the rate. We just want slow movement. even slower let's try a bar let's go two bars this is uh this is for joy odyssey y'all this is uh this is a song that I'm, i i want to release under joy odyssey so that's what's up with this one.
Let's throw a pan on it. All right. That's sounding great. The panning is really making it come out of the stereo quite a bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reduce, we're gonna reduce the mix of the pan down to about 60%, let's say. Let's go less. We're gonna go 40%. We're going to turn down the volume of this just a touch and we're going to open up the next sound. Yo, greetings from Mexico. What's up? Thanks so much for tuning in. Tuneers. Love it. So you hear this pad? You can already hear it's also let's you know let's let's talk with some real quick. So for this intro, you know, the main beat is when the drums and the bass kick in. Everything else, it's 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 beautiful. It's setting the mood, it's setting the vibes, but it's not we have to save all that low end energy. We have to save that for the drums and the bass. So Right now, as soon as we introduced that new pad, there was already too much low-end information. So I opened up Q3 here, and let's hit play, and let's, let's use a shelf, and let's carve off some of the bottom here. And we're gonna switch it to a filter. We're gonna go 96. Now we're also going to add a shelf, a low shelf. And we're going to put it on dynamic mode. We're going to put it about there. Yo, you guys are writing the best comments ever. I love y'all. We got someone from Italy. What's up? Okay. So, we got the low end under control now, as you guys can hear. Or better than it was before. And now, we're gonna throw a courser on this. There's a great plugin from Arturia. I forgot the name of it though, but it's, um, we're gonna pull it up here in a second. It's, it's the Chorus Juno, it's a Chorusser from Juno 6. So we're gonna throw that on here, on that pad we were just listening to. And we're gonna mess around with this and get it to sound the way we want. Let's hit play.
going to throw another courser on it. That sounds perfect. As soon as it starts to sound like just next level, you just, you know, you know you did it. We got that pad, it's beautiful, it's moving. We got all the sounds in its perfect space. I would even shave off a little bit more low end on this pad. Let's, let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's open up the cue. Let's also put a high shelf and dynamically have it increase itself. Let's open up the next sound. We only have a, we have just a few left. I'm going to just kind of open them all up. We have this vinyl noise, this vinyl loop. I'm going to go ahead and filter out everything under 120, more or less. I'm going to go ahead on the other sound. and do the same thing. Beautiful. Now we have this bass. Let's just play this bass, just solo for a second. Yo, what up? Man, we got people all over the world turning in. Love you so much, man. Thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, we got this bass here. So, as you can hear, as the bass is playing, you got it filtering out. We got all this stuff happening. Um, none of that's happening on the bass track. That's all happening on the master bus. So if we look on the bass track here in the bottom, we're wide open. There's, there's really nothing here. So let's throw this plugin called saturate from newfangled and let's drive this bass That sounds pretty great. Let's hear that. Let's hear the first, let's hear the beginning of the intro leading up into that.
That more or less sounds pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Let's go through some of these little noise, little samples and just kind of clean them up a bit. Something like that. Let's go to the next sound. We just want to make all, we want to make sure we're cleaning up space for everything. And, and we're almost ready to move on. That's perfect. Let's hear this again all from the top. Really quick, there was three little noise sample things, little vocal sample things. And um, really quick, let's just pan it. Let's just get it out of center. It doesn't really matter where exactly. We Let's just get it out of center. Let's just find it a home spatially. So let's just hit play. I'm going to turn this up a little bit louder than where it sits, just so we can hear it for a moment. And uh, let's just see where it feels best. That's great. 30% to the left. That's perfect. We got these two sounds. Okay, so here we are.
for that rising section, we can probably do a lot more, but just for now, it's it's in a fine place. Um, so now let's go to this beat drop section and let's hit play. Okay, so I'm just saucing up the, the clap very subtly. Um, I'm just throwing things on it and I'm seeing what feels best. Um, the clap feels like it's coming alive a little bit. It sounds It's sounding better. Uh, let's, let's check in on the kick real quick and hit play and, and see how it feels. Honestly, the kick sounds fine for me at this stage. Uh, let's check out that hi-hat here. So the first thing we're going to do is raise it up. Second thing we're going to do is shave off the low end. Thank you. 
just bringing out the snap. Um, let's let's focus on the shaker real quick. Let's solo this, and what we're gonna do is with the delay, we are gonna go double time. Feedback can be minimal. Low cut, low, the low cut can be raised a little bit. Valhalla's low cuts aren't that strong. They're pretty light, they're pretty soft. So don't look at the number and just see how it feels. This is sounding amazing. Let's focus on these three little melody. These I have two instruments here that are playing. Let's let's solo them and hit play. And I'm gonna take out the uh, side chain so we can just hear it unaffected for a moment. Feel like this plugin might work really well. Let's bypass. Yeah, Devil Lock from Sound Toys is such a amazing. Sound Toys has always done some of the best sounding plugins. It's just amazing. These guys, these guys just know what's up, man. Um, I would love for them to do more stuff. Um, I guess somebody's saying on the stream they have 50% off right now. That's cool. So, so that plugin really brought out a lot more vibe off of it. Just kind of just made it feel cooler. So... Since we're at Sound Toys, let's look at a little bit more of what they have here. Um, decapitator always it just always sounds good. Let's throw let's throw it on here and see what's up. Yeah. Something like that. Next up, let's stick with Sound Toys for a little bit. Because, man, they make some good stuff. And let's throw their EQ. Let's just have some fun with this for a second.
let's throw the EQ before all of these compressors and stuff and let's let's hit play. So this is nice because what we did by by putting the EQ before these compressors and these saturation effects is we can kind of carve the sound a little bit more and we can kind of get it to hit uh, the distortion and the compressors in a way that we want. So I scooped out a little bit of the low end. It was kind of choking it a little bit. And then I um, boosted a little bit of the mids. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to throw this plug in again at the end of the uh, at the end of all the compressors and the distortion. And let's just further shape it. I'm probably going to add a lot more highs on the post EQ. There's that little snappy sound, but I think that gets ducked all the time. But nonetheless, let's raise that high. I think also higher up here we can boost. I would do something like that. Something like that. Let's also try doing another thing. Um, let's try throwing a, a tape plugin on this bass. Now, I have one in mind, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to find it because, you know, there's just so many plugins, man. I It's hard to remember. I mean, you know, you step away from the studio for one week and, you know, good luck trying to remember. But it was a plugin from Baby Audio, and there we go. T A I P. Just, I'm just messing with it. We don't even know if this plugin's gonna work. Wow, this glue knob really is doing exactly what I like. So this is great. Let's bring the mix knob down. Let's find a middle ground. Perfect. Let's hear it from the beginning of the drums with the bass. Let's throw a pan on that hi-hat real quick and then let's move on to other aspects of this song.
Okay, on pumping. that shaker, I gotta throw a, I, I gotta have it pumping against the kick. So I'm gonna throw a side chain. And apparently I need to raise uh, my buffer size here, which is not a problem. Let's go up to 1024. What's up, Ukraine? Yo, I want to do something with the drums. So, want to make it sound. I want more. I don't know what words to use, guys. Sometimes you just want more. I want more. So, these drums right here, if we hit play, let's go to a section where, let's go to like this arrangement where, where all this stuff is going. So, so what my idea is this. Whatever plugins I got on this right now is fine. I'm going to just kind of group them all because I, I don't even really care to see them. I almost want to just treat this as if it's already printed. Okay, so what we're going to do is this. We're going to do a, we're going to do parallel. I think that's going to be pretty awesome. So let's get a DBX here. Let's throw the 160 on. Something like that. Okay. Let's throw the 1176 on it as well. Let's go all, all, all button knob, all knob mode. Okay, let's put MV2 on it. Let's bring the high level down. Let's throw... Let's throw a cassette plug-in on it.
All right. Something like that. I'm going to move the cassette plug in earlier on the on the chain. Okay, so now what we're going to do is let's group all the new plugins I just threw on. Let's throw it in a group and let's just label that as effects one and then we got the dry. Let's play the dry. Let's blend in the effects we just did. Sounds good.
Okay, so I'm gonna be honest with you guys. At this point of the song, everything's kind of in a really great place. Like, um, I love the the flips between the two beats are in a really good place. The drums are in a really good place. Now, for me, the next step is to figure out some of the vocals, to figure out how that's gonna sound, what's that gonna do. I think just generally speaking, the vocals on this track are probably gonna just be super minimal. Probably just like, um, probably just like a little sample that's chopped up and flipped. Um, the unfortunate news, guys, is we're at our hour and uh, we're gonna have to wrap it up because of many reasons. <laughs> but it's been a blast. The last hour and a half has been just awesome. Um, my mind is still kind of on this record right now and I, and I kind of want to talk about it with you guys. I want to work on it with you guys, but I just know it's going to take a lot, a lot of time. Um, just to talk some things out with you guys real quick as I'm looking at the screen here, like... We definitely have a phenomenal intro. We definitely got a good initial drum section. And then when it flips back into the intro vibe, that's actually super cool. And obviously we got to do a couple different noise risers and drum risers and stuff to kind of help transition it over. But, um, and then, and then on the second verse, we're going to be, sorry. And then on the second verse, we're going to be you know, vocal will be probably carried through. And then on this last section here is, is pretty much just raging out on drums, just going crazy. So I think I'll be able to play a version for y'all very soon or because I, I don't want to work on this song on another stream or at least not on these Sunday streams. Um, I feel like on these Sunday streams, it's just nice to work on it's, I don't know. I feel like it's nice to keep these Sunday streams to an hour and um, kind of leave it at that. Um, but before we bounce, let's just play this one more time from the top and um, and go from there. I'm gonna end it on here, y'all. Love y'all. It's been a blast.